Okay, so here's the second video on how to join or make one large surface from three, four, or five, whatever that may be, separate surfaces. Previous video I showed you how to do it in Katia here. In NX, I'm going to show you a couple of tools that you need to use. Now, here I have my three separate bodies, and the way this works is you come in, you go to sew, and you need to sew these up first. Now that I have them sewn, the tool that I want to use is under insert and under combine, you have what's called join face. So when I go into join face, you want to say convert to be surface. I'll select the three faces, and again, this has to be sewn together, and select OK. And as you can see, oops, let me just cancel. As you can see, I have a parametric element. Now in NX, as you can see, this parametric element is editable. So if I had an additional face I wanted to join, I can come in here, double click on that. Here's my distance tolerance, here's my angle tolerance. You can see it's fairly tight and it does a nice job. And what it does is it creates a nice big surface over the top of that. If I analyze the control points on this surface, you can see I have uh, 3 by 3 and 11 patches in the U direction. So in my U direction, I have all of these internal seams, hidden patches on those surfaces. So it's, again, fairly straightforward in an X um, to pick one better over the other. They both do something a little different. It's hard to say which one does better. But in this case, in this, on this job, I would definitely give it to um, an X. Um, in a lot of cases, it's a toss-up between the two tools, but this is definitely one of those that NX does a superior job in. The, uh, the history base is nice because if I come in here and I decide I wanted to make a modification to something, I can make a modification to something. Go to Make Current Feature, pick my X form, select my OK, come down to my Join Face, and make current feature and as you can see that join face is now modified. 